What are you actually do in that two and a half hour? I, I hope not by this time. Uh, as I will have the three rides before the July, uh, I'd probably be, be sweating. I, I'd be p probably be putting on a, uh, a top underneath where um, it absorbs quite a bit of sweat. So that um, as you ride, you, you get hot, you sweat, you're losing weight as you're riding. So by this time, I'm hoping that um, I've got my weight uh, spot on and I'd be changing all my gear. Uh, I'll be putting on my light uh, kit, which is light racing boots, uh, your light saddle fittings, whatever, and um, hoping by this time the, race, the, the weight's spot on. And what do you do in those two and a half hours? Who do you talk to? Are you allowed to use cell phones and chat to people in that way? No, no, we're not allowed to use cell phones at all. Uh, we are basically closed off in the jockey room, um, not allowed to communicate much with, with people except your your trainer and uh, maybe uh, if an owner comes comes around. Um, but uh, by this time you're just sitting and waiting and watching other races, uh, you know, there's uh, lots going on. There's a lot going on. It's not on. like you get bored. No, 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 no. You watch all the other races and you, you, you keep updating yourself and looking at where's the best going, how's the track running. And I believe this time, uh, this first time this year, they are, they've got a false rail around gravel, which is a, a rail that's not on the, on the inside um, of the track. It, it's about five meters off the inside. And then after about, I think, five or six races, they're going to remove that rail and... Um, then you're going to race on the on the on the right on the inside of the track. So it's going to be something that we have to keep an eye on and, and you know adapt all the time. So the false rail in the initial stages would that take away the advantage of the draw? But when you ta or to some extent anyway, or not? No, it, it's basically it's just to save the the, the going for the July. For itself. the July. Oh. Um, so you're still going to be where you're drawn. You're drawn. Uh, if you're drawn one, you still got an advantage on the rail. Um, but what will happen? Everyone will just race closer to the inside. Once they move the rail, so the, f the, f the initial false rail, so uh, it, it won't really play a part. All it will do is that we will be um, racing on virgin grass, if I can call it, and then your false rail. As you come into the straight, you'll be more, you'll be closer to the inside running rail. So you'll, we'll have to see if the goings good. Right, if you stick down the inside rail. Mm. Pierre, handicapping, as you've explained to us, is so important in horse racing, and. If you go on a straight handicapping of the uh, of the July itself, of the Vodacom July, then pocket power most definitely can be beaten because your horse, Kappel, as you said earlier, was only one and a quarter lengths behind him last time they met, and they carried the same weight. Now your horse, Kappel, is getting five and a half kilograms less, and in just theoretical terms, that should mean six or even seven lengths difference in where he finishes put that at uh, a minus one and a half and he really is in a, a very in a very good position but i suppose races are not run on paper and pocket power wouldn't be the hot favorite in this race if there wasn't a very good reason for it yeah you know the, the right thing for a punter would to know handicapping because one kilogram is supposed to be equal to one length over a mile over 1600 over 1600 meters. Yeah. now uh, over 2200 that becomes a little bit uh probably a length and a quarter so that's that's on paper that that's how racing supposed to work but unfortunately horses don't jump quick out the pen some don't stay the distance some don't get luck, luck in running so you you have to take all those in, into account um if you had to go on paper i say capital will win this race if, if they had to run this race over a mile over at, at clear with luck the 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 he met last time against pocket power then we probably be the winner but now you got to look at um all the the factors that come to play pocket power has won this race before he, he's racing better than ever he last time he placed much handier than what he used to in the past where miles Keppel, he comes from stone lost um, he's got a habit of not going in the early stages and uh, as hard as you try he just doesn't uh, go for you and then it's like all of a sudden okay well I'm now in the mood to run and off goes Capel uh, and unfortunately with 20 runners you know if you're gonna come into the straight last second loss gravel's got a short straight it's very difficult to make it up you're gonna be weaving your way through horses then towards the end if he stays and I think that's another big question that's another will he make the distance because he, he certainly the form that's in the computer form he hasn't run over this distance before. No, 
but he has run um, just beyond pocket power in a JMB meet, which is over 2,000. And a more difficult course, perhaps. It's so. a more mm -hmm. testing track. So, you know, if you take that into uh, into account, then I, I think he probably will get away with the 2,200. Now, now you have to start looking at the pace. How fast are they going to go? Are they going to make it fast and make it testing? Will they make it hard for him to stay? Um, if he does stay and they go fast, the front runners will get, should get tired and he'll be running on. So it will be in my favour. If they go slow, this was a suspect over the 2,200. 